Namaste and welcome to Refill Yoga. Ciao guys and welcome back. Today we wanted to take a moment to share with you a specific diet that we've both used for different purposes and we've both found a lot of benefit for. Uh, it's called the Oshava diet number no. seven. Like we already tell you in the last video when I was explaining my holistic approach to heal the Crohn disease, um, that the Oshava diet number no. seven was one of the things that I was used and we find it so helpful that we take this in our daily life, non daily life, but in our practice. And so today we are here to talk about the Oshava diet number no. seven. <laughs> So otherwise known as the macrobiotic diet number seven, there's a few different ways to take this, but essentially it's eating only whole grains for 10 days. Uh, we take it one step farther and we eat only brown rice <laughs> for 10 days. No oils, no dressings, no fruit, no vegetables, little bit of salt and brown rice. Amazing. <laughs> Honestly, it's a bit of a torture. Uh, but it's a 10 day challenge. We love our 10 day challenges and I promise you it's a very rewarding experience. <laughs> yes, I want to just give a brief presentation about this diet. So like Andrew just told to you, it's a, a diet that comes from the macrobiotic. The macrobiotic, the founder of this uh, style of life, it was Giorgio Shava that uh, around 1917, 1918, it, it became a really popular diet somehow. And there are a lot of controversy around that. Why? Because when this diet arrived to America, most of the people start to use uh, this uh, diet based only on the food, okay? But uh, the macrobiotic is really more complex and it's more a philosophy and a style of life. A little bit like yoga, you know, we can take yoga just with asana, what we do in the yoga mat. But we know that is a, a system that is more complex than only, uh, you know, movement on the, on, of the body on the mat. <laughs> you know, in the West, we like to take only the part that we want. <laughs> exactly. we forget about the rest. Exactly. <laughs> Same with the Shava diet. And it's a really controversial for a couple of reasons. The first reason is again because the people start to use only the food and really important, this diet is based on 10 days, you know, the, the lovely challenge of the 10 days. <laughs> And then I will tell you why. And there was people that start to use this uh, uh, like a regular diet for every day for a long time. And this is really not suggest and no, uh, this diet is not designed to become the daily, uh, Your daily diet yeah, no. on a daily life. The second one is because in one point the macrobiotic and uh, this uh, Oshava diet um, will start to be used to cure cancer. Yeah, and uh, you know, a lot of the holistic things that we use to cure cancer are working, but there's not the money or the time and effort to back up the studies. So while there's a lot of positive cases using this sort of diet and this sort of uh, lifestyle, as Clelia put it, there's not a whole uh, abundance of scientific research to back it up. Exactly. So for this reason, when you search, you know, macrobiotic, it can be qu quite, uh, you know, controversial uh, idea about that. Um, what we, we, we don't, I don't want to go deep on the, you know, macrobiotic because honestly it's not really our philosophy, but we find a great, amazing benefit in the Oshava diet number no. seven. So we decide to take this in our, uh, you know, style in our life. Like Westerners, we take the fit we like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there, there are also, you know, benefits that I saw, I, I course, experienced yes. personally. So, me as well. Yeah, because you did also with me. So we decide to, you know, at least once in the year to do it. Why? Because again, it's only 10 days. And again, this is very important that this needs to be done in 10 days. And it's a diet that is designed and based on the, the tough, the tough <laughs> is design and thinking for eliminate toxin on your body. So it's designed for elimination. And it's great because in, with this diet, your body will learn how to uh, eliminate the toxin uh, by 
himself yeah it's like a training for the body where you're constantly eating this brown rice and and your body learns to push away the toxins because it's the only thing coming in okay so uh, also uh, the use of water it's really reduced during these 10 days again i repeat uh, and i want to be clear about this only 10 days so we not suggest to don't drink water during the <laughs> daily life actually the opposite but for these 10 day and this was another point of controversial because these 10 days supposed to drink really a little why again because your body is going through a process and this process is detox detoxify the body so put push away the, the toxin from your body okay um, there are a study this is a scientific study that demonstrates that our blood the cell of our blood they completely renew every 10 days so this is another uh, um, answer to the fact that is uh, this uh, you know the, this amount of time 10 days because in 10 days we change completely this the cell of our body almost completely so the idea is to eat only the rice or the whole grain if you follow the full diet in some way and then the body the digestive system will uh, slow down because it needed to digest one things for day for 10 days so it really slow down and at the same time the substance the amide of the rice the starch the, the starch the start to go on the the blood it will work a little bit like a magnet for the toxin and then the body our body will uh, um, put uh, push it away outside from the skin for example or of course when we go to uh, to the toilet and in this way again the water is not so just but to give the time at the body at the cell to completed this uh, absorption okay. see <laughs> of the, the toxin okay so for this reason we find that it's extremely uh, you know somehow easy to do it because it's only 10 day <coughs> and you really don't need to have a lot of things because it's only brown rice it's extremely cheap so <laughs> it's, it's extremely not cheap so it's not extremely easy <laughs> there uh, are no, challenges not extremely easy but uh, you know there are diet that you need to, to wait you need to you know take for a long time be careful when you eat what you eat this and that this is in this uh, from this uh, you know prospect is easy you, mm -hmm. need, uh, you eat rice and that's it of course there are some challenges that they're going uh, through and um, so in, when we use uh, this diet for the purification of the body uh, of course because we are yogi and we know we are working also with the purification of the energy okay and uh, this diet it can be used not only for the physical you know uh, aspect but also for the energetic level and uh, is a diet that is based on young energy this uh, george oshawa was thinking the macrobiotica was thinking that uh, what is a great sickness in our body is the yin energy okay uh, not that is the yin energy is bad when it, there is an uh, excessive okay we go to an excessive amount of yin energy because we are exposed more to yin energy our body become a little bit more exposed to what is the sickness the reproduction of bacteria and you know so go on and in, in this direction so the idea is for 10 days to eat uh, food that is prevalent young yeah and this is uh, one of the reasons that i'm really attracted to this diet <laughs> you know clearly uh, um, you know in her physical condition had this reason for purification and all this but why would you choose to do it if you're not sick for example uh, and for me it's because it's developing this uh, this yang energy so the difference between the yin energy and the yang energy in this in this sense is yin is receptive you know yin is cooling yin is soft yin is gentle yin is nurturing you think of the nurturing mother um, and when the body is is you know consuming cool foods water uh, sweets when the body is very relaxed very soft or stagnant sitting on the couch you know uh, what it does is it, it, it promotes a, a, an environment that's very easy for multiplication of cells. And this is what uh, George O'Shaw realizes that when we have this um, very nurturing environment, it's also very easy for bacteria and, and negative uh, 
things to start to grow inside of us. The opposite of the yin is the yang energy, which is more dry, which is more hot, which is more tough, more strong. Um, so this is eating really rough things such as whole grains, you know, not drinking a lot of water, not having a lot of cooling foods. You think of the archetype of like the, the really masculine, like the lumberjack or the warrior, you know, fights for seven days with a, you know, a drop of water. <laughs> so this is kind of what we're doing on, a, on an energetic level is we're, we're taking away all of this soft and, and nourishing and, and it's good. We want that. That's why this diet is only for 10 days. But for 10 days, we tough it out. You know, we, we make our body, our blood, very strong. Like she said, in 10 days, all of the blood is recycled. So we've eaten one substance that's very strong, very yang, very uh, the fighting kind of energy. And in 10 days, our body is completely replaced with this. So we go from this yin, soft, warm, gentle, cool, gentle, comforting energy to one that is quite strong, one that is quite determined, one that is not so easily distracted. And this helps the yoga practice. This helps the, the mind to be clear. Also, 10 is a number of Manipura. So it's really, it's all of these qualities of what we can call uh, solarizing, you know, being very emissive, very strong, very grounded. And uh, this is one of the things that benefits me. And this is why we know that it benefits everyone, especially in a society where everything is very comfortable and very yin oriented. Yeah, again, so for sure, uh, not only if you are sick, okay, if you are sick, for example, like me, I was using in a way a little bit more extreme because I did it three times in two months. So it's really, uh, you know, a little bit more uh, specific for detox and healing. But if you take this diet just to first one detox, any case we always need a little bit of the talks <laughs> also if we follow you know a very good diet and we do yoga whatever you know with or physical exercise the talks is always good and uh, the second reason exactly is it to really awake manipura chakra it's really to go enter and step with this uh, you know think about for 10 days you need to put yourself to eat brown rice you know again take out all the fruit vegetable whatever is not brown rice so take a lot of willpower yeah it it take willpower it take courage you know it take uh, confidence anyway to go to and 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 you will see if you will try you feel this energy growing inside you during the 10 day there are also challenges come up because when with the tox again the body with the tox also the you know mental and emotional level so it's uh, very interesting to observe what it's uh, come on during this 10 day because uh, uh, sometimes it can be surprised you know I, there is time when i did that i was feel very pain at the physical level because of course i was working more on the tox the body and then there was time where physically it was okay but emotionally especially more angry <laughs> it, it was you go in some kind of you know dark space in the in the sense of that you are doing this uh, you know shadow work that we already talked in the kundalini video very well if you wanna go <laughs> yeah what is that we talk about so it's a really great <laughs> diet that we suggest to do one times for years maybe if you are a bit uh, you know need some kind of cleaning maybe two times for a year don't don't use every month because it's not suggested it's not designed for this kind of you know detox every month it become too much it become then extreme and then again it become an excess of you know <laughs> of yang and then you have another kind of complication yeah, everything so, in balance <laughs> exactly so this is you know to go and uh, again for our direct experience you will have amazing benefit in many different uh, you know level and uh, we suggest you to try now we go uh, how to use this diet a little bit and then eventually we put down uh, the uh, below the some more reference uh, some books that you can read if you want to go deep or if you have any question please write to us it will be a pleasure for us give you some help and support okay so to go to the detail how to use uh, this uh, diet the Oshava diet number seven that, that like the number as tell you uh, is the seventh one there are uh, uh, six before uh, that is Lex streak of that but uh, we go directly on this because again is the most uh, um, powerful somehow especially for the tox um, the original diet uh, in the original diet there are 
you can use the whole grain for 10 days, any whole grain. So buckwheat, uh, barley, brown rice, whole wheat. It's not recommended to have uh, too much bread or pasta, but you can use these grains in some way. Yeah, and but we choose to use only the brown rice because the brown rice is the one that have the most high uh, property of uh, anti-inflammation and uh, detox. Uh, so 10 days when you will decide to do it, maybe the day before you don't go to, you know, fast food or eat <laughs> so much heavy food, uh, but you can start in any time. When you decide you start, you will eat this brown rice for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, anything. Everything. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Everything. It's it your will, life now. Exactly. It <laughs> would be only brown rice. It's a suggestion, you know, if you want to, you can cook in the morning and, uh, you know, for the day you have your rice. If you prefer to cook more on lunch and dinner, whatever you want. The important is, very important that you never, 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 never skip your meal. Mm -hmm. You This diet is not fasting because if you start to fast, the process of the detox of the body will not happen. It changes. Exactly. So <laughs> you need to suggest to have a spoon or a bowl of rice each hour that you are awake or eventually the three, princip the three meal, never skip one of the two meals. How much you can eat? As much as you want. Kilos. <laughs> <laughs> if you manage to eat a bowl of brown rice, go for it. Again, the important is don't skip. If you've ever done any fasting, you know, the first three days of this, you're like, oh, it's so easy. Me, I'm eating plates and plates and plates of rice. And then by the fourth day, you're like, I don't even want to look at the rice. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this is the challenge. It's exactly the opposite because the first two or three days is okay. But then, uh, you know, you will have rice come out of your eyes because <laughs> you are, but you need to eat for the 10 days. What you can eat with the rice. So for sure, you can cook your rice with the uh, salt. Of mm -hmm. course, if you can use, uh, you know, natural salt is better. Sea salt, rock salt. Uh, salt makes it nice and it's also more dehydrating for the body. Yeah. So more of this yang property. Exactly. And uh, you can use the uh, gommasio that is... Uh, um, sesame seeds and the salt um, blended, blended like in a together. powder. Yeah, this in a is, powder. So you can. The sesame also has quite a yang uh, inducing property. Mm -hmm. uh, if you really, really one point want to change a bit the taste, you can use a little bit of some soya sauce because it's still uh, be very young. But again, be careful that it's natural because if there is a lot. Uh, it's a really... Um, Some soy sauces are made with sugar or non-organic soy yeah. and then this stuff. We really want to purify. Even going with the soy, like I, I really recommend you to use very sparingly because that's it's just, you know, one more thing of willpower is like, I'm just going to have brown rice. You know, a little bit of sesame if you need. Forget that. Just brown rice. <laughs> <laughs> no, but again, you know, yeah. the, the, the soya, if it's natural, is okay. The important is that it's not processed. Uh, so yeah, because otherwise uh, your detox is uh, lost, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And um, you can have, especially to help a little bit uh, the movement of the bowl, some um, miso. miso soup with, of course, only the uh, mi pure, pure miso. Pure miso, okay. No, any tofu inside or. If the, uh, the uh, seaweed can be okay, just a little bit, again, especially if you need to go to the toilet. But again, this is, don't take like, okay, I eat this, I'm okay. <laughs> I just have a bowl of miso for dinner. Oh, I'm still doing Oshava. No, no, no. It's brown rice, brown rice. Okay, and this is what you can eat, what you can drink. And this, uh, I uh, will give you some uh, smaller difference also in that. So again, you can drink the miso soup, like use up instead of drink water. You can drink water with cinnamon, especially if you are working on the uh, activation of Manipura chakra and this, uh, you know, will uh, power and this energy. And you can drink uh, water with uh, turmeric 
if you are looking more at the aspect of anti-inflammatory and the detox of the body. So when we do it, I drink with a cinnamon and Claudia I, drink with, with a turmeric. Exactly. Uh, if you don't want to drink, uh, you don't like that, you can drink the bancha tea, that it's a mix of uh, young herb. Or eventually, if you want to drink water, George would suggest to put just a little bit, a little bit of salt in the water to make the water more young. Now, very clear here. Room temperature, okay. Tea, better. Cold, definitely don't have cold water. No, because... To, it's yin. It's yin and also for the digestive system that it's already, you know, Sensitive. working at the low gear. It's not nice to put cold things inside. Um, a part of that, all the rest, all the rest, fruit, vegetable, oil, everything is forbidden. Forgot about for one week. Uh, not for one week, <laughs> for 10 days. <laughs> <laughs> Forget about for one week, dream about for three days and then celebrate when you finish. <laughs> yeah, and this is the diet and you will see you can have uh, maybe the first uh, five, six day rush on the skin. You can have rush on the face. Some Headache. people, uh, the, f the skin maybe would be more uh, greasy. For sure, headache can happen, so you can become very whining and <laughs> You had your neck lock up one day. Yeah, one day, <laughs> three days. And all these kind of, remember, is uh, detox and are sign that something is going on in your body. So instead of cry of that, celebrate, you know, celebrate the effect of uh, and celebrate the symptom of detox in your body. When you finish the diet, the last day, the, usually you will finish with the dinner, so you will go sleep in the morning. Uh, what is suggested is maybe to have some cooked uh, vegetable, so something light like, I don't know, zucchini or some pumpkin, very cooked, Not nothing raw, don't eat fruit, the first things that you want to eat, or juice, you know, some because uh, the stomach needs a little bit, a couple of days to go back to the fully, you know, work. So it's just to eat uh, something cook and uh, some vegetable light. Best thing that you can eat is uh, the kechery. Kechery. Kechery is <clears throat> <eat> rice, <laughs> but <laughs> it's a rice with lentil and with some spicy. You can find a recipe everywhere. It's very easy to make it. And uh, this uh, because uh, your also your uh, intestine uh, it will be empty you know for 10 days so don't put nothing that is uh, so heavy and with the kechery it will make some kind of um, soft uh, first things that your belly will go to digest i want to stress this the any kind of fasting any diet change the most important thing is how you break it so mm -hmm. do not go into this unless you are going to have the willpower to break it safely do not finish with, okay, eat one spoon of kitchery and then you go crazy to the fast food restaurant. No, take your time coming out of this because you you can really damage yourself. It can become dangerous if you don't break it fa yeah, properly. So be patient, enjoy the kitchery, enjoy the cooked vegetables because they will be amazing yeah, after only it. brown rice. <laughs> the tasty will be like, woo! <clears throat> but do it safely, guys. Yeah. Do safely and a couple of food very, really to avoid, especially the first three days. It's uh, any uh, nuts or dry food seeds. seeds because they can scratch your uh, you know intestine. Of course, not any meat. We don't eat never meat, but I tell uh, for you guys, not any meat. If you are you know eat uh, in the, your diet. alimentation and <laughs> diet, and no spicy, no not, nothing chili. <laughs> don't do it. All this. No, it's not good. And of course, uh, no <clears throat> alcohol and no any excessive of sugar, at least for the first three days. Just give the time to the, you know, digestive system to go back fully to, you know, work completely and uh, be safe. And then after that, you can again go back to your diet and eat uh, whatever you want. We suggest to have a healthy diet because again, I will repeat uh, and repeat and repeat. We are what we eat and the, uh, you know, food that we put inside our system 
it's important. We really believe, I really believe that it's something that we need to look at. So I we suggest you to go back to a normal diet, uh, if you can help it. <laughs> uh, one thing I want to put a little note here is if you have maybe a, a diet that you would like to change or something you consider unhealthy, uh, and you're like, oh, but if I if I finish this diet, it'll be so hard to not go back to chocolate or, or meat right away. Keep in mind, this entire 10 days is solarizing. It's boosting that willpower and is essentially resetting the blood. So your taste buds will reset. And things that you will crave, you may not crave so much anymore. If you have a big sugar craving, if you have a big uh, alcohol craving, these things, because you take these 10 days to completely clear that out, when you break, you won't feel this craving for like, oh, I need the snack or I, I need this thing that I don't want in my life. You will have that willpower to say no and you will have the, the uh, attraction for it kind of purged out of your system. Yeah, so I think that uh, we went through all the passage of this diet and uh, again, the benefits are great and very uh, tangible. <laughs> it's English. <laughs> it's English. <laughs> uh, so if you want to try, and you want any support or suggest, we always are here to help you. Thank you so much, guys, to stay with us. If you like the video, make sure you like. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, remember any links for things that we mentioned will be down below. And have a beautiful day, guys. Namaste. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>